Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to a, uh, to the channel. Um, today we're up north. I've got my son, Easton, over there. And he's going to be my test subject today. And what we're going to do is, I, I wanted to test over the recent updates how bad the autofocus for the Panasonic Lumix S5 actually is for a couple different um, scenarios. So what I've got on here is the most difficult situation that I can think of in terms of keeping it reasonable with my lenses. Got the 85-18 at 1.8. Um, and I've set it to, let's see, I'll put it on here so you guys can see what I got. What I've set it to is um, AF mode with human detection. And then I have the autofocus, there you go. I have the autofocus settings at two for mo moving subject prediction, suggested for situation where the subject moves at a constant speed in one direction. For this first test, I'm gonna have my son run right at me in constant frame rate, I think it's at five frames per second, something like that, and we're gonna we're gonna see how it does. Okay. Now, when I tell you, I want you to run at the camera. Okay. Are you ready? Run at the camera. Go. Okay. Son, good job. Good job. <laughs> Okay, so here's the results of that test. Okay, so for test two, we're gonna do the same type of thing. I'm gonna have him run in a zigzag pattern. Easton, can you run in a zigzag pattern? Oh, well, at the camera, I could do last time. In a zigzag pattern and see if the camera can keep up with it. Go further back, all right, buddy? Here we go, test two. All right, buddy, ready? Go. Okay, good job. Give me some knuckles. All right. And, um,. I'll look at these and check the results of that. Well, what does that mean? All Okay, I just had a chance to review the results on the back of the camera, zoomed in. It looks like <clears throat> all of them are in, in focus. I mean, maybe there's one like with some motion blur. I only at 200th of a shutter speed, so it looks like they're all in focus. <clears throat> I have to mention I am on the 85 Panasonic lens. I don't think a Sigma lens on this camera would do as good, but the Panasonic lens is autofocus a lot better. And again, this is 85 millimeters, 1.8. It's the shallowest lens that I own. I'm sure if you were at, you know, a 200 f 2.8 or something might be a little different but overall i would say not too bad and i think for autofocus in photos very very serviceable of course this camera isn't like a monster we're shooting 30 frames per second it's only like five or six or whatever the actual thing is still did a very very good job very very serviceable and so i've been telling people that if you get a panasonic s5 that autofocus is not bad if you're using a panasonic lens and you're not like tracking birds in flight. I don't know if it's great for that, to be honest. And, and if there's not <clears throat> a bunch of stuff in the way um, interfering with it. I don't know how it does with that kind of tracking. It's something I should do, but I only have one kid, so I can't have them run in front of each other. So, all right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.